Hi, my name is Harish Gobin, and I'm the Product Development Manager at LaunchTech USA. Today I'll be giving you a functional and a user overview of our latest oscilloscope product and how it works with our professional line diagnostic tool, the Launch X431 Throttle 3. I'm here at John's Automotive Care in San Diego, California, working with Head Master Tech, Tony Shelton. Tony will be giving us a user overview of how this product works. Today we're working on a 1998 Toyota 2.4 liter. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our connections. So we take our negative lead and hook it to the negative terminal of the battery. And then we take our positive lead and we're gonna hook it to the signal wire of the fuel injector. We then make our way over here to the equipment. Make sure that we are connected to channel one of the scope box. Make sure the scope box is connected to the throttle. Once we've made sure everything is connected, we are going to go into the automotive menu. We are going to select actuators. We are going to select injector. We are then going to press OK. And once we're here, we are going to start the truck so we can get ourselves a live signal. So Tony, can you explain to the users what we're seeing on the Throttle 3 interface screen? Sure. So what you're looking at here is a textbook with injector waveform. So here you have your PCM pulling it down, which is your injector on time. Once the PCM releases it and the magnetic field collapses, this is your inductive kick. This right here is the returning the battery voltage. So this is the sign of an injector without an issue. Everything looks good here. One of the things that's nice about this throttle three is you have one touch adjustment of your time, time base, and right over here, your voltage. So if you want to change the size of the waveform, you can change it right there. But I found this works best. So next what I'm going to do is increase the RPM to show you an example of what it looks like when the waveform on time increases and decreases and when the injector shuts off. Thank you for allowing us to give you a functional overview on the Launch Oscilloscope product today. I would like to turn it over to Tony for his final words as he has been a technician that's been using this oscilloscope product in the field for the last six months. Tony, final thoughts. Well, let's start with the screen. It's large, it's bright, it's durable, it's easy to see in the sunlight. Uh, the construction of the housing, very strong, durable, drop resistant, scratch resistant. The connections, very easy. All four channels in the front, USB in the rear. Battery life, let me tell you, this thing lasts all day long, don't have to charge it. I can't think of anything I would change in this product. What about the integrity of the data? The data is on par with everything that's on the market, if not better. Sounds good to me. For more information, visit www.launchtechusa.com. Thank you, Tony.